So for this week's video, I'm going to be comparing the two meal delivery services, HelloFresh and Home Chef, meaning we got 12 different meals and we meticulously scored them and ranked them and I'm gonna give all the information to you now. And at the end of this video, I'll let you know which one was our winner. Let's move on to Home Chef. So our Home Chef plan was the exact same as HelloFresh, two servings per meal, three meals a week. And we did pick the low calorie option, but Home Chef also had low carb, and then they had like certain foods you wanted to avoid, like gluten, red meat, fish, mushrooms. Yeah, you could actually specify if you don't like mushrooms. I didn't click any of those things because I wanted to see what they would give us without any restrictions. Although I don't really care for mushrooms. Now with the promo code we got from Home Chef, it made both weeks be $45.93. So right off the bat, a little pricier than HelloFresh. When we got our first Home Chef box, it looked pretty much identical to the HelloFresh box. And honestly, I think my cats benefited the most from this experiment because they got a new box to play in every single week. Chai, do you like the Home Chef box? I was breaking it down and she jumped in. Oh, Chai, it's not even a real box anymore. You having fun? But speaking of boxes, let's talk about waste. So the HelloFresh meals came in paper bags, whereas these Home Chef meals came in little plastic bags. Now you can recycle these plastic bags, you just have to take them to a place that recycles plastic. So for both brands, you could recycle the majority of the outside packaging, the cardboard, the insulation. They even say you can recycle the ice packs it comes with. You can't recycle the contents, the weird like gel that turns cold, but if you cut open the bag and pour that out, then you can go recycle the outside plastic bag. But honestly, no matter how you slice it or dice it, these meal delivery services can be pretty wasteful because they're sending you so much single use products. All of the sauces and the spices come in these like tiny little plastic baggies that if they've touched food, you can't really recycle them. They try really hard to recycle everything you can, but when you're giving me just a little bit of sour cream, it's gonna be wasteful. So the first Home Chef meal is a meal I made it was the ginger scallion chicken rice bowl, and it said it was a 15 minute meal, but that wasn't necessarily the case. This was so slimy. <laughs> it's a little gross. Chai really wants some. All right, this says, a reserve pan, no need to wipe clean once you've removed the chicken, so I'm not wiping it. I'm just adding the vegetables. Did you already take a bite? Of literally just rice, and the rice has no flavor, so. Yeah, there's no like butter for the rice or anything. The first home chef meal is ginger bok choy something. I don't know. And Maddie made it. I did. Their difficulty is a one, and I would say that's pretty true. I would give it a 1.5 if you've like never cut up a vegetable before. Did it actually take 15 minutes? No, it took longer than 15 minutes. What I thought, minutes. yeah. I don't know if that's like human error, cause like, so the chicken came pre-diced, which is really, really nice. Oh, sweet. Yeah, but it was really slimy. So it says to pat dry. So I started like the oil in the pan and then I realized it was gonna be a, a little bit bigger of a job to pat it dry. It took a little bit longer. So then my, like half my oil burned out. So I added more oil. So, you know, it's just little things like that that make it longer than 15 minutes. So let's take a bite. Great. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm. It's great. Mm-hmm. But is it really any better than like the Trader Joe's frozen? Food? Yeah. No, it's not any better, right? No. Yeah, like I'd, for the price and I'd rather just get that. Yeah. Yeah, like this is not wowing me like a lot of the Hello Freshes did. I do really like it though. It's it very good. good. It, is, it is very good. It's very healthy. I think it's like 540 calories and only 11 grams of fat. Like there's no butter in the rice. Yeah. What do you rank this? I think I would give this like a um, three, honestly. Yeah, I give it a three. Like if I were to compare, if I, okay, general enjoyment, yeah, I'll give it a three. Mm -hmm. But when I compare it to the HelloFreshes, if, if this was a HelloFresh and I was just comparing it to those, 
This will get it too. Yep. Agreed. Yeah. There you have it. It's just a little more basic and it's not as exciting as like crispy chickpea, tabbouleh, whatever kind of crazy concoctions it comes with. So that good. was phenomenal. Cool. So what I really liked about this meal is that the chicken came pre-diced. That was so nice because cutting chicken, as we all know, is gross. But it was also very slimy chicken and you have to pat it dry with paper towels, also producing more waste. So overall, I gave this meal a one for difficulty, a three on taste, because as you saw, it was still very good, but I've had Trader Joe's frozen meals that were just as good. So it goes in the mid-tier range of a three. However, it was only 539 calories. Already doing a lot better than the HelloFresh. So meal number two was salsa verde shrimp and cilantro rice. Woo! All right, tonight, this is home chef meal number two. It is salsa verde shrimp and garlic cilantro rice. Oh my goodness, does this sound good. Yummy. Yummy. Wait, is that a jalapeno? Yes. <gasps> There's jalapenos. All right, this one is 523 calories and 11 grams of fat. So really these home chef meals have been much healthier than our HelloFresh ones. Well, that's good. It's better than the last one. Wait, come down here into the shot. Hello. <laughs> it's better than the last one? Yeah, for sure. I think it's great. Sorry, I'm just too lazy to grab my tripod. Oh, all right, let's try a shrimpy. Yo, oh man, that was yummy. How easy was this to make? Mm, like a one or a two, it was really easy. Oh, but you said a one or a two. Yeah, I mean, it was really easy. But I'd say a one, you know. It was just cooking shrimp and vegetables and rice, mm. which like for me seems like a lot of, a lot of work for dinner, but it is really good, so. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's not a lot of work for dinner. That's typical. I'm just a lazy cook and I hate cooking, so. That's why I do most of it. Yep, exactly. Would you give it a score yet? Mm -hmm. or, or ask you after? No, I'd give it like a four. Oh, just a four. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. There you have it. I'll give you my score in a second. All right. After full completion of the meal, I think I give it a four and a half. And I'm knocking it down a half a point. It's not a five because rice is boring. There it is. There's my hot take. Yeah, I made it. Yeah. Are you alive? Did you get a jalapeno in your eyeball? I did. It was not fun. It was so like flavorful. I really enjoyed the spices and the flavor of it. You want to taste the sauce? The salsa, just like yeah, like just the salsa. Yeah, pretty good. Oh, that's delicious. Good. Oh my god. I eat a little onion right there. Yeah. On the side. See the little onion right there on the. What were you saying about the onions? The onions are so sweet. They're cooked so, wow. Well. Yeah. So good. So okay. as you saw, we pretty much said it all. I bump it down to a four on taste because it was very very good but it was also not extremely memorable. Like as the week goes on, we kind of tend to forget about this one. It was only 523 calories. And I bumped up the difficulty from a one to a 1.5 because even Steven was debating if it was like between a one or a two and he's master chef in this house. So we're gonna give it a 1.5. So home chef meal number three was grilled mojito lime chicken. He's studying it very intently. All right, Steven is making the third home chef of the week. It's kind of weird that like, I just put him in like this. Oh, you don't cut him up? Yeah, you cut him up later, I guess. Yeah, you cut him up in the last, it's super weird. Follow what it says, Yep. I guess. Um, so this is just a coleslaw. What are we having today? It is. Oh yeah, you can just turn it around. Oh, it's upside down. I hate that, so like. Yes, it's weird. Yeah, they printed these wrong. So see, this is right side up, and when you flip it over, upside down. This is grilled mojito lime chicken with poblano slaw. So like this is the coleslaw and that was pretty easy to do, right? Yeah, you just pour stuff in the bowl. Now I'm just mixing it up. Yeah. So only 494 calories, 25 grams of fat, 41 grams of protein. Dang, this is probably the healthiest one we've had. There is my plate. There is Steven's plate. What is in everything? Okay, so the chicken, it's obviously yes. just a chicken breast with some, it's like a mojito, lime, olive oil, 
seasoning. Like Yum. you took the mojito, it's a, mo mo a mojito lime seasoning, mix it with olive oil. Okay. That's what's on top. On top of that is a sour cream lime, like, I'm not going to call it a sauce, but literally it's, just, it's just two, yeah, pretty much. It's literally two sour cream and then mixed with lime, like fresh squeezed lime. Nice. Coleslaw is a coleslaw mix, mm -hmm. unseasoned, with salt, pepper, olive oil, green onions, poblano peppers, brown sugar, Sweet. and olive oil. It's amazing. It's my fa it's my favorite part <gasps> so far. Really? I, mean, I, haven't, I haven't tried the chicken yet, but good God, it's so good. Uh, uh, excited. Yeah. That's it? Yeah. Was it, what's the... It's a one. It's yeah, easy. this yeah. seems very, very easy. Okay, yeah. let's take a bite. The poblano peppers add a little bit of spice, but it's not that bad. <laughs> You're on my water cup again. The slaw is so good. Oh, it tastes like you went to like a taco place and this was on your fish taco. Yeah. Yes, it's it does. so good. Oh, that's right, yummy. All right. How's your chicken? Just first impressions, even with the Hello Freshes, this gets a five. It's <gasps> top here. Ooh. Me. All right. I'm going to eat all mine and then I'll give you my ranking. Okay. I had to pick up my camera again because let's talk about the chicken. Cooked to perfection. That's not home chef. That is all Steven. So A plus Steven, but it is so moist. And then the bottom is like crispy because it's like tiny, tiny little bit charred. Oh, it is so good. And then the coleslaw, you'd think it's really basic seasoning, but it also has... It. I forgot to say it a second ago. It also has uh, fresh cilantro and lime juice. I might have said lime juice, but I don't think I said cilantro. I think I was sleeping on this recipe because I was like, it doesn't have any carbs. Like, I'm not going to like it as much. It's just a chicken breast and coleslaw. Like, blah. It's a five. It is phenomenal. The lime. Without a doubt, it's the best of the three home chefs. Yeah, it's I mean, my favorite it's... home chef so far. Yeah. Yeah. So as you can tell from our reaction, this was phenomenal. This was like the crispy chickpea. If I could give it a 15 out of five, I would. It was so good. And just the flavors of the lime, just, I mean, just, I mean, just. The only downside to this meal was that it was 494 calories. And that's probably because our chicken breasts were so small. I mean, it's good portion control, but it's sad because we wanted so much more. So this was a one on difficulty, a five on taste, 494 calories, 25 grams of fat, and we would 100% order this one again. If I could order it tomorrow, I would. So next up were the Vietnamese turkey meatballs. Tonight, we are having Vietnamese turkey meatballs and butter lettuce cups. Only 493 calories. Ooh, that's not bad. But 31 grams of fat. Well, there's this mayonnaise sriracha mix, and so that's not good for you. It's regular mayonnaise. They didn't give us light mayonnaise, just normal mayonnaise. Oh, well, that's where the fat comes from. And then I don't know how lean the turkey is, but it's just ground turkey, so it should be, should be fine. Yeah, it doesn't tell you if it's like 93% lean or 97 or whatever. Would you say it, it was the easiest one? Uh, yeah, I'll say it's the easiest one of all of them. Oh. Ah. Yeah. So we got our second box of Home Chef today. So we have three more Home Chef meals to try, and then I'll do the big comparison of HelloFresh and Home Chef. I was not super jazzed about this one. This is like not my cup of tea, but Steven really wanted to try it, and um, it is really good for you, and it is something different, so hopefully it'll be good. Oh, and it's ready. Yeah. All right, I'm excited. Moment of truth, ready? Hmm. It is good. I like it a lot. This is not your cup of tea. I don't love meat. Even though this is turkey, <clears throat> I don't know, it just tastes like ground turkey and lettuce to me. <clears throat> this is my least favorite one. My own complaint is it's obviously only a lettuce wrap to make it healthy. Yeah. This is a burger. Oh. This is so meant to be a burger. Yeah, it, it would be like really burger. good. <clears throat> I think I would like it more if it was like in a burger patty form. Mm -hmm. Like the sauce, burger. Yeah. Coleslaw on it, on top of it, burger. Burger. Lettuce, burger. Burger. It's bun. I, mean, I really like it, but like I wanted it to taste more exotic, I guess, because it's just like sriracha. <clears throat> That's what. Like I just wish it was, like 
all like the Mediterranean ones that we've gotten, like I feel like I could have gotten like in Greece. You know what I mean? Mm. Whereas this just kind of, I don't know, like sriracha is so Americanized. I feel like at this point that just, meh. yes. Oh yeah, what makes those Vietnamese? I mean, I, I don't. I really don't know. I don't. I, I'm not familiar with Vietnamese food. I know people love sriracha, and I fully understand the love of sriracha. I just don't love it. It's I not don't my. Understand it at all because I like spicy well, stuff. I do not care for sriracha. Yeah, but like I <laughs> love buffalo sauce and i understand like some people don't love buffalo sauce and it's the same with sriracha so true is sriracha vietnamese i don't know <clears throat> i really like it's it it's good I, though i, I like healthy. all the flavors it's healthy and it was super easy to make is it worth the home chef price can you just make this from like oh, could we make this on our own for sure because ground turkey is right? not expensive no and coleslaw is not expensive and lettuce is basically free and <laughs> sriracha is is what, yeah, like... You can get the whole bottle for how much, and the mayonnaise yeah. already have mayonnaise. This is a this is a $2 meal. And I say I would definitely, like, make this again, but I would not order it from Home Chef again. I give this a 2. Yeah, I said 2.5. You said 2.5? Yeah. I'm gonna say 1.5. No. No, that's not fair. It's good. It's healthy. All right, I looked this up. Sriracha was created by David Tran, who was originally from Vietnam, but the sauce is originally from Thailand. It's a Thai flavored sauce. So there you go. It's more Thai than Vietnamese actually. And as you could tell, this one was not my favorite. However, it was my least favorite. It was super easy to cook. So we're giving it a one on difficulty rating. It only gets a two for taste though, but it was only 493 calories. If you couldn't tell already, these uh, home shelf meals are actually low calorie, whereas the HelloFreshes are like kind of sort of low calorie. Meal number five is peach barbecue chicken breast. So tonight's dinner is peach barbecue chicken breast. I'm making it right now and it's about to go in the oven. All right, so there's our chicken and broccoli. I haven't checked the chicken temperature yet. Is yeah, it good? Perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's really good. All right, look at the, uh, look at this sauce. So like, it's just ketchup and mustard and peach and white vinegar. So like the mustard is clumping up. It's so weird. Mm, it looks great. When is it, when is it done? When it's like thick like a barbecue sauce. Uh. All right, here is the final product. I will say these chicken breasts are very small. Barbecue sauce is really good. <gasps> it is. Was it ketchup, mustard, and what? Okay, it was. It was so funny. They gave me just like a little packet of ketchup and like a little packet of mustard. Was it Heinz? Uh, what's like the main one? Heinz. Okay, oh, then it well, was Heinz. Yeah, Heinz. Actually, forever. It was literally like a ketchup packet from... Like McDonald's. Yes. Wow. Well, yeah, yeah. I was going to say fast food and I couldn't think of the word. <laughs> anyway. In the sauce is peach preserves, ketchup, Dijon, water, white balsamic vinegar, and salt and pepper. It's only 473 calories. Earl has given her input. She's like, where's my dinner? Yeah, it's only 473 calories and 16 grams of fat. So, oh, the breadcrumbs on the broccoli. Chicken's good, but the sauce is great. The chicken itself is unspectacular. I wish it was cooked in a pan. Literally, I cooked it in a pan on one side for four minutes and then put it in the oven. Oh, okay. Why? I don't know, but that's what I did. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the chicken sauce tastes a little like plastic. Really? Yeah. Mm. Maybe that's just like the mustard that I'm not used to. Yeah, I don't get that at all. I think the sauce is amazing. I wouldn't order it again. I give it a Maybe three. Maybe I would. It's really good, but it's unspectacular. Mm. Like I give it a three. For what it is, it is delicious, but it's nothing special. This says it was an intermediate cooking level. However, I had no problems with it, so it was very easy to make. So would you say it's probably, it should be, it should have been like a beginner level? Maybe not because you have to make the sauce in the pan, but like they gave you all the like ingredients like in their individual like amounts. So you just put them all in the pan and make the sauce. So yeah, I would give it a one for easiness. Anyone can make this. I'm still really, really hungry. Oh no. 
So I made this one and Home Chef gives it a two for difficulty, but if I had no problems making it, I'm giving it a one. Now this one gets a three for taste when all said and done. And this one was 473 calories. And that's because again, the chicken breasts were so, so small. You can hear Steven say, I'm still really, really hungry. I mean, it's good for portion control. It's less calories, but it's also less substance. Yeah, not not great. And lastly, the last home chef meal were the Creole fish cakes. All right, tonight's dinner is Creole fish cakes with chipotle crema. Uh, try that chipotle crema. Yeah? Yeah, and I'll tell you what's in it. My hands are clean. That is a chipotle pesto. What? Yeah. If you want more, you can put more in it, but it said like add to taste. I added half first, then it said add to taste. But I think it tastes fine. I think it tastes fine. Yeah, perfect. What is this? Lime juice? Mm -hmm. Oh. Did you have to provide that yourself? No. No, they came with a lime. <gasps> wow. Yeah, and that's garnished, but we can take a tequila shot with it. Oh, today's National Tequila Day. You're kidding me. No, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this one is... 571 calories, 35 grams of fat. This is one of the less healthy ones we've had from Home Chef, but it's still, I mean, still under 600 calories. Yeah, a good bit of fat. I look like a potato. It's National Tequila Day and this recipe came with extra limes, so. Hey Earl. Why awesome. am I doing this on my right hand? I don't know. All right, to Earl. To this world. To this oh, she appreciates it. Happy National Tequila Day. All right, let's have our dinner. Okay, this is succotash. I'm try this first. Succotash? Does it suck? Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> it does not, indeed, suck. No, it does not. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's yummy. Mm -hmm. So it's tilapia. Yes. Which I cooked in the oven and then like shredded it with the fork afterwards after it was cooked <clears throat> to make it like cakey. There's like breadcrumbs, or no, saltine crackers. Whoa. Made with some packs of saltines, just crush those up. Um, mayonnaise. Classic. And then like whatever spices they gave us. It was like a pre-made spice packet. Oh. And then it's on top of a chipotle crema, which was made with sour cream and chipotle pesto. Wow. Which is extremely good by itself, actually. Yeah. And we have some of that left over, right? Mm hmm On a scale of one being easy and five being hard, what would you give this to make? Um, it's the intermediate, but like to me it was a one. It was really easy. I feel like if I had to do it, it would have been at least a two. Shredding yeah. tilapia. You know what? You are getting me to eat fish, which True. I hardly ever eat. So this is delicious. I think I'm gonna give it a four. Yeah, four, yeah, I agree. It's not necessarily top tier, but it is better than, better than mid tier. Mm hmm. I would definitely get it to go. Yeah, I'm gonna eat a bite of my fish cake with my vegetable. Is it gross that we're filming ourselves eating? No. It's for science, mm -hmm. it's for research purposes. Mm -hmm. So, my favorite part about this one is that there was so much like extra left over. We got extra poblano peppers, we got extra chipotle pesto, and we had extra limes. And I was not lying, it was National Tequila Day. So, I mean, I gave this a difficulty of 1.5 because even though Steven says it was really, really easy, it'd probably be a little bit more difficult for me. So, we're bumping it up one. It's a solid four on taste, still very good but not that top tier five slot you know and it was 571 calories and I definitely think we would reorder this one again so now that we've had all of our home chef meals let's do the home chef rankings so again you can see my rankings and Steven's rankings were pretty similar I liked the salsa verde shrimp a little bit more than the Creole cakes but Steven loves fish, so he ranked those higher. They're about pretty even. And I ranked the ginger scallion rice above the Vietnamese turkey meatballs in the end. But honestly, I mean, they're about pretty even. Super not memorable, super wouldn't order them again. Speaking of which, let's go to the averages for all of our Home Chef meals. So the average score for taste 
for Home Chef was a 3.5, not as great as the HelloFresh 4.3. There is only one that we rated a five with the mojito lime chicken, and we rated two of them at twos, whereas HelloFresh didn't have any twos. The difficulty though was a 1.17 is what it came out to, meaning on the whole, they were slightly easier to make than the HelloFresh ones. The average calories for these Home Chef meals was only 515 calories. So much, much healthier than the HelloFresh. None of these were over 600 calories. I mean, HelloFresh, the average was 633 calories. So you win there, Home Chef. So it was 45.93 each week, which means that each Home Chef meal was $7.65. So that is about $1.49 more expensive than HelloFresh. So if my meal is costing $7.65, I probably am not gonna order the three small Vietnamese turkey meatballs that I didn't really care for, you know? So I have some overall thoughts and feelings. Both meal delivery services were great. And I don't have regrets trying either one of them. It was a very fun experiment, but both brands had their pros and cons. If you're looking for super easy dinner to make, and you're working on portion control and watching your caloric intake, Home Chef is definitely your winner. The meals were super easy to make and all of them are under 600 calories. But if it isn't obvious already, our winner was HelloFresh. The food was just so good and like, so different like dinners we wouldn't normally typically make. And it was the more affordable option, honestly. I actually had Steven rank all 12 of the meals and I did it too. So if you look at our rankings, our first four are pretty much exactly the same. And then we both scored the ginger scallion chicken rice bowl and Vietnamese turkey meatballs in the bottom. But if you take a look at my ranking, you'll see the top portion is heavily green, which is HelloFresh, whereas you see more red home chef on the bottom. Now, for my thoughts on meal delivery services overall. One of the things I liked the most is that we made meals that we would typically never make. If I were on Pinterest and I was looking at recipes for crispy chickpea tabbouleh, I would probably look and see that the ingredients included bulgur wheat. And I'd be like, I'm not gonna buy, you know, a whole thing of bulgur wheat for this one recipe when I'm never gonna use it again. So I would kind of stray away from that recipe. Same with like peach barbecue. I probably wouldn't buy a whole jar of peach preserves just to make one peach barbecue sauce. So it was really nice to receive ingredients in such small amounts to make meals that we typically wouldn't make. And is food delivery affordable over time? Let's take HelloFresh for example. The cheapest you'll pay for a meal is $32 for six meals. That's two servings for three meals. Comes out to $5.30 a meal. But once your promo expires, full price, it's $9 per serving and $8 for shipping. So that comes out to $10.32 a meal. See, for us, that's not really sustainable. We could definitely eat for cheaper shopping at the grocery store. However, if you wanna work that into your budget, it is doable. This saves you time and your time is more valuable than you can totally factor this into your food budget. And you don't have to plan what you're gonna have for dinner and then plan your grocery run based on what you're gonna have for dinner. That is another pro I liked a lot. It was just, what are we having for dinner? A HelloFresh meal. So in conclusion, I would say you should 100% try Home Chef and HelloFresh. Try a bunch of them. Find the discount codes and try them. Is it sustainable over time? Maybe not, but it is 100% worth the trial. We really enjoyed it. And if you use any meal delivery services that you really like, please let me know down in the comments. We wanna try more, so leave a comment. Tell me which one I should try next. Thank you so much for watching. I know this one was a doozy, but I hope I provided some information to you and helped you decide if you should try out a meal delivery service. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, give it a thumbs up.
please consider subscribing and maybe I'll make another video. Okay, bye y'all. <clears throat> that tastes like tequila. <laughs> That's a cold open. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, my burp tasted like tequila too. Yeah. Yes, I have a scrunchie in my hair and on my wrist. I'm a visco girl. Not really. Okay. I put in enough effort today to put magnetic eyelashes on my face, but I couldn't muster up the effort to put on contacts. I'm sorry. Oh, and, and, to overage toddler, think that's your username? I'm so sorry I had to delete your comment. I just had to. It was so bad, but I did think it was really funny. It did make me laugh. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say about that. <laughs>